One player continues to carve out and build his reputation in Major League Soccer in only his second year, while another has played in two World Cups for Germany and is on display tonight. Experience and youth here at BBVA Compass Stadium as the Houston Dynamo getting set to take on Toronto FC. You see the four players here tonight that will come into this lineup. This is a move by Dominic Kinnear. Shield, not as mobile as he once was, but the German international, very intelligent. Dude around Toronto is very volatile, so the Dynamo can get an early game. I think it could be a good night for them. Baldemir Toledo is your referee. We're off and running here. It's game on at BBVA Compass Stadium. And Hano's first piece of delivery into Matt Kanji, who is starting in place of Dynamo striker Brian Chin here tonight. 1 and 10 on the year. Only three points as Frings gets a delivery in. Rune got a piece of it. Still loose, the offside flag got up, shot goes in, off the post and in, it hit two posts. And it goes in. And it's Jeremy Hall. It sure looked offside to me. It, it, uh, Baldomero sure. Toledo's coming over to his linesman now. Tally Hall has put it down as though it is not going to count. Dynamo players are coming over. Toledo's waving him away. He wants to confer with his linesman. Big moment here. And, and this is key, too. If you watch the Dynamo players, they don't just lag in the box when the ball gets cleared. They get out. It is a goal. Look forward to seeing this. It replay. is 1-0 Toronto FC. Jeremy Hall has banked it in off both posts. And he picks up goal number one of the year. Wow, it's awfully close there. It, see, and now th there's interference with the play. The player jumping over the ball is blocking the goalkeeper's vision. Ryan Johnson is standing in the way that is considered offsides because he is interfering with the goalkeeper. A Fabenko corner kick. The captain, Brad Davis, to take it. Clark comes short. Towards a penalty spot. Boswell with a header. Pounded it in to the upper corner. That is a spectacular goal. And that is a reminder. Set pieces remain the Dynamo's most dangerous weapon. And they are up, have tied it up now at one. If you don't think Toronto's worried about set pieces, count how many guys they have in the box? 11. All 11 are back in the box, and they still can't defend it. Bobby gets just what he needs, and that's a difficult header from that distance from goal to keep it below the crossbar with that kind of power. A 19 and a 21-year-old going up against Colin Clark and Hato. Ryan Johnson now. Still Johnson. Look how quickly the Dynamo get to eight. Uh, whipped in for a post. He had, he had to be off. Two to one. Kuvermans. A side-footed in the delivery, and the Dynamo got cut apart there. It is 2-1 to one Toronto. We've seen three goals now in 22 minutes. You can't see it here, but on the far post, Andrew Hano is not even with his line that the rest of the Dynamo defenders are. You look to see how deep Andrew is there. You take advantage of it. It's just going to say how wonderful it was to see the Dynamo get eight guys behind the ball so quickly. to threaten the goal a bit more here in this one. Here's to Guzman. Holds it up, swings in the cross. Kuvermans header, it's three to one. Danny Kuvermans has scored again. Paul Mariner is going absolutely mad on the sidelines. It is now three to one. Toronto FC and BBVA Compass Stadium has become a more. This is a team that has been hoping for something. Uh, Kuberman's here now. This is the 45th minute. This is the third goal in the first half. And a reminder, Eddie, this is a team that's only scored eight goals coming into this game. You know, the players get in a united front. You know, nobody cares about us. Nobody thinks we can do it. Let's do it and prove them wrong. There's Will Bruin. Top of the box. Colin Clark. Clark trying to bend it. And is down it. He was in some duress here. You don't like to see him 
holding a knee because he has had some very severe knee problems. Hopefully that's a shin, but it's a oh. straight leg. Oh, wow. I'm not sure. That, that for me is, it looks like, you know, studs up, he catches him out. Julian de Guzman. Player of the year in Spain for Deportivo La Coruña. It's not too shabby. It's not. There's a lot about the quality of the player. Direct ball from Cameron. It's a beauty to Davis. Ching was in the box. Maybe wanted it early. Moffitt. Make that throw in. We got a game. It's game on. 73rd minute. Will Bruin. A late run. And he smashed it into the upper corner. It was a blurry orb. Seventh of the year. So much to talk about on this one. First of all, the quality, right? And then you could get on Brad Davis for not playing it early because Brian Ching's in. He finds Will Bruin composure by Will Bruin in the box to take a touch, pick his head up, and pick out the top corner. Dynamo have the quality to get some good service in here. Cut out by Torsten Frings. What a ball from Frings. He waited, he waited, he waited, and split two defenders. Mariners running him down the sideline. Cutting inside is Ashton Morgan. Hoovermans, Hoovermans, just shot it wide. He is dangerous in and around that penalty area. Great, great pass. Kubermans, he sees the run coming. Corey Ash has to, he has to try to take that pass away. So Corey has to give away more of the inside, allowing Kubermans to come inside and give for that far post. It's all Houston now, throwing everything they can at Toronto FC. Trying to get something out of a game, maybe they don't deserve anything. In it comes. Punched away. Header comes back in. Punched away again from Kosic. Moffat tried to get there. Player down in the box, out of Moffitt now. The player down is Jeff Cameron. And well, right off the bat, Torsten Frings is down, Kosic is down. Kosic, his brave, he gets out and gets a hand on it, he doesn't go down. Then when Adam Moffitt turns, he, it comes back to Adam Moffitt, he waits as Adam Moffitt turns. Watch how fast he comes out and shuts down the angle here. Look how fast he gets off his line and shuts down the angle. He's got help from his teammates. Excellent play by Kosic. Cameron has got some space now. Can he get it over? He does towards the far post, it's tied up! Cameron delivers! Will Broom provides the end product! The fans go nuts and is now tied at three! Second of the night for Will Bruin. Good by Jeff, gets it down. And you'd expect him to go low and hard, but he goes high to the back post and Will Bruin, the timing on his jump. Watch how early he jumps to make sure the defender can't jump with him and heads it down like you're told to do. 30 seconds left in this one. Houston and Toronto FC tied it through. The Dynamo have stormed back, led by their second-year striker, Will Bruin, to tie things up. After falling behind 3-1 to one to Toronto FC, and that'll do it. A share of the spoils. Houston will pick up a point.